Hey, y'all, I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're doing on Elect2, just in case some of you still don't understand what is expected. So I dropped a link on your Google Classroom stream, and here it is. Once you get to it, you should be able to see this screen, in which case you'll log in as a student. You should have your login credentials. If you forgot your password, you can handle that yourself. Um, and uh, let me just take the minute here to do that. All right, so if you've gotten this far, you will see this screen or possibly even this screen. Okay, we are in the Mast Breaks Introduction Theory area. Okay, anything below that should not be looked into just yet. Okay, and these tasks, one, this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one, and this one, will all be done here at the school. So you don't need to do those right now. So we're in the Mast Breaks Introduction Theory, and once you go in there, you'll see that this is full of little modules, movement, movement quiz, axle load, axle load quiz, brake system introduction, brake system introduction quiz, and finally friction and friction quiz. You may move through this freely, but here's what I've been saying. If when you go into the module and you start the module and at the end of the module, you finish this whole section and this right here, this green area to red doesn't say at least 85%. I would recommend 90. I would not go on to this quiz because I've had a lot of kids failing the quiz because they just did not pay attention during the module. What you can do is you can go back into the module into the areas that you did not understand and you can relearn the material so that you can get this bar to go higher green. So inevitably, you're going to end up having to take the quiz no matter what and I'm going to use your score. Uh, I've had students score very high just by going through the module and being being careful but once you've passed the quiz or even if you don't pass it once you've taken it you get one try it's not like sp2 um, if you've done that then you go on to axle load okay and you hit start module okay and you go through axle load and then when you're done the green bar should be green like it was in movement it should be green all the way over to at least here where it's down around 85 or 90 percent green and you can get the readout here and the bar itself once you've done that you can go and take the quiz be careful on that quiz because you only get one shot your goal will be to take all of the quizzes and do all of the modules so there is a grade in the grade book for right now for example for movement basic and that's how well you did in that area. So for example, me as a test student, this is my test account. Uh, out of 100%, I got 80% of the answers correct, and that's the grade I'm putting in the grade book for you. Okay, and then if you did the quiz, and you got a 53 as the sample student did, uh, which is indicated really nicely by this red bar or green bar, you will now see that, uh, that that 53 will go straight to the grade book. If you hate that, you don't want that 53 in the grade book, contact me and ask me, how do I retake this test? And what I'm going to tell you, so be prepared, is that you're going to have to go back through the module and do the basic module, not the quiz, until you get it over 90% here, and then you can I'll unlock the quiz for you again. That's how we're doing it. And uh, if you have any questions, you know you can get a hold of me on the Remind app or in my email. Make sure you type your question clearly so I understand it well. Appreciate it. Thank you.